Welcome back to Sweet Devotion. I am your host, Emily Hutchinson, and I'm so glad that you're here today. Oh, we're making a really good treat. We're making their summer sugar cookies is what I like to call them, and they're so delicious. You guys, this sugar cookie just melts in your mouth, and then I've got some pastry cream on there, and it looks like the stars and stripes of the American flag, or you can keep it looking like the cutest little pie cookie ever. I think that you guys can do this. I wouldn't bring you a recipe that I did not believe that you guys can execute. So this one is gonna be a good one. And then we're gonna read out of my devotion book. It's a perfect devotion. It's for the 4th of July. So let's get started. Whisk together our flour and our baking powder. And then we're just gonna set this aside. Stand mixer, I've got my butter and I've got my sugar and we're gonna cream that together. All right, now that my butter and my sugar are creamed, I can add my other ingredients. I'm gonna add in my eggs, oil, and my vanilla, and I'll mix that up. Then you wanna add in your flour and your baking powder, and we're gonna put a towel right over the top so all the flour stays inside of our mixer. Towel trick. Make sure it's locked, and then turn it on. And all the flour stays inside. Ooh, we have a dough. All right, then stop mixing. Then we'll roll out each cookie and we'll flatten it a little bit, put them on a parchment lined cookie sheet and then bake them up. After your cookies cool completely, you're gonna pipe on your pastry cream. And I did it in three sections. And then what I did was I piped all the way around the border and then I took raspberry filling and I filled those areas in between. And then I took three blueberries and put them on the corner and it's so cute. Look at that cookie, you guys. This is gonna be a showstopper at any barbecue that you bring these to, but it is going to surpass your expectations for what a sugar cookie should taste like, you guys. I'm already dreaming about it. I'm salivating thinking about this cookie. Oh my gosh. It is everything that you can want in a summer cookie. The sugar cookie is beautiful and delicious. And then the pastry cream, perfection on the cookie paired with the tart raspberry filling sets it over the top. You guys, this is so good. Do not sleep on this recipe, you guys need it. There's literally an explosion of flavors that happens in your mouth, which is perfect for the 4th of July. So I hope you guys give this a try. You guys, these are so delicious. All right, let's get to that devotion. July 4th, the Statue of Liberty. If the sun makes you free, you shall be free indeed. John 8, 36. During the national observance of the 100th anniversary of the Statue of Liberty in New York Harbor, I was struck by great emphasis on the number of immigrants who had often left everything behind. Coming to America with nothing but the clothes on their backs, they risked their lives for something they had valued more than everything they had left behind. Freedom. They did not take their adopted country's hard-won freedom for granted, and neither must we. Their experience is a picture of what we must do when we come to Christ. We must forsake our allegiance to the world and leave behind all of its offers and become citizens of the new kingdom, the kingdom of God. His Statue of Liberty is in the form of the cross. The statue in the New York Harbor lifts her lamp, Besides the golden door, the Statue of Liberty on that hill outside Jerusalem's lights, the way to eternal life. Isn't that so good? That just warmed my heart and my soul. And, you know, I was thinking about how my great grandma came over here from Holland to Ellis Island and she met my great grandpa. The rest is history. And, you know, when I got saved by Jesus, my life was transformed and changed and Never the same. <laughs> Just so thankful for his grace and his mercies every single day. So with that paired with this delicious cookie, you guys, you guys are set for the 4th of July. I will see you guys next time.